Hello, welcome to my channel. This is uh, Laura from Laura DigiPlan. Um, today I'm going to show you how to add custom fonts or different fonts into Zodo um, for Android. I'm using an Android dev device, the Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 Lite, and this is what I'm going to uh, attempt to do today is show you how to download and add fonts into Zodo. So what we're going to do is go into a website that offers free fonts. Um, we have here uh, 1001 free fonts, which is uh, the website I use. There's also others, um, but let's just let's just find a font to use. So, as you can see, there's lots of different ones that you can download, and you know these are these are free. A lot of them are free for personal use. We go. Let's try a rough typewriter. So we press download, uh, open it, extract. And we want to take the OFT text files can be OFT or TTF files. Um, so either works in in Zodo. It took me a long time to uh, to work this out because you know some of the forums and um, instructions on how to do this are outdated for the newer versions of the Android and obviously Zodo so so what we're going to do is um, we highlight the OFT or TTF files we select move because they're currently in your download folder now in the internal storage you want to press Android then data sort into name which I want to be going the other way so Zodo appears at the top so we press uh, com.zodo.pdf.reader inside that folder there will be another folder called files so you press that and then the folder called download now you would think that you would put these text files in straight into download but you actually don't now the first time I did this there wasn't there, there was a there wasn't the Zodo folder inside the download folder now it's this folder where the text files go so if you open your download folder and there isn't a folder named Zodo create one and then move the fonts that you've downloaded inside it so there we go they're there now okay so now we we close all this Go back to Zodo. On the left hand side, when you tap the screen at the top, there should be the three lines. Press that and go down to settings. Scroll all the way down to text annotation fonts and look for the font that you downloaded which I can't remember what it was called ah rough typewriter that was it 
Right. You tick them and press OK. Go back. Now hopefully this should work. Rough typewriter, you see that there? And there is the font that we just downloaded. Okay, so that's it for today. I hope that helped you. Um, don't forget to comment or ask any questions down below um, in the comment section. Um, subscribe or share with your friends if you see fit. Okay, well, it was nice talking to you. And I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.